So hey guys, in this video we will be discussing the most important thing that is the block diagram reduction rules. Okay. So first rule we have here it is nothing but associative rule. So in associative rule, what happens? The first diagram, if you see, this is A, this is B. Observe carefully the first diagram. So in first diagram, if you see, there are two summing points. This associative rule is related to the summing points summing points are nothing but when two or more signals are to be added then we have to use this summing point these two are nothing but the summing point here what is happening see here so when the signal r1 is coming which is the input here also one more signal is coming r2 so it is getting added right so plus r1 minus r2 minus sign is there that's why minus plus is there that's why plus so plus r1 minus r2 this signal will go to the next summing point where one more signal is being added with the plus sign so it will become r1 minus r2 which is the previous one plus this r3 so completely the output of this two summing points will be r1 minus r2 plus r3 right now what happens if i reverse or change the position of these two summing points observe that here let me consider this is the first summing point second summing point now next figure if you observe this has been changed this is the second one this is the first one so i have basically reversed or changed the position of interchange the position of two summing points now we have to see whether the output remains the same or not let us see so r1 is not changed it is the input which is coming to the summing point here r3 has come with plus sign okay so this is also plus this is also plus so both are plus it is getting added now it will go to the next summing point where r2 is has to be added with minus sign so r1 plus r3 from the previous one minus r2 so this will be the output so if you compare these two signals you can observe that the output is the same the r1 minus r2 plus r3 is the first one here r1 plus r3 minus r2 so if we observe the sign minus r2 is there minus r2 is there plus r3 plus r3 r1 r1 so all the things are same so that means output remains same so associative row law says that Changing the position of these two summing points will not impact the output. That means output remains the same. So you can change the position of summing point. But one problem is there. What is that problem? That is nothing but see the next case. So these two cases carefully observe. This may, let me consider C and D. So C and D cases carefully observe. Here also two summing points are there. Here also two summing points. But the problem here it is that one block has been introduced in between these two summing points. Okay. So whenever block has been introduced, we have to see whether the output remains the same or not. Or we can say in other words, associative law is applicable for this case or not. So let me consider this is the case where output will remain or same will be determined whether this will affect the output or not let us see r1 is the input okay so it is going to the this thing right summing point this is minus r2 so here the output will be r1 that is plus r1 minus r2 right now here gain is there g1 is there so this forward path transfer function g1 gets multiplied with this one so it becomes g1 correct so r1 minus r2 into g1 this is going to the second summing point where one signal is being added that is plus r3 so the final output becomes r1 minus r2 which is the previous one into g1 till here it was the previous from previous summing point okay uh, till here here now plus r3 this has been introduced correct so this output let us say whether if we interchange this position of the summing point so here let me consider this is the first position second position here in this case it will be second position and first position you can observe r3 here first position is r3 okay r1 again is coming plus r3 we have to add so here output will be r1 plus r3 right here what will happen this point this point it 
multiplied with G1. So R1 plus R3 into G1 I have to do. Then this summing point has come where I have to add R2 with minus sign. So what will happen to the output? So R1 plus R3 into G1 till here we got this signal minus R2. So if you observe these two signals after interchanging, that means the output, whether it is same or not. No, it is not same. It is not at all same. Why? Because the first output, if you observe, R1 minus R2 into G1 plus R3. Second one is R1 plus R2, sorry, R1 plus R3 into G1 plus minus R2. Correct? So G1 is been multiplied in the first case R1 minus R2, but here it is R1 plus R3. So it is completely different. Correct. So these two are not equal. So what we can say? So we can say that you have to observe carefully and apply this law. So that means this associative law is applicable only if there is no gain block or transfer function. There is no block between two summing points. Okay, that is very very important. So associative law is for the summing points where we have to see there is totally no blocks in between two summing points. Then we can say that output will remain same, right? It will remain same if we change the position of the summing points.